Okay, in this session, we're going to look into TTL, which is time to leave, and hops. In most cases of a network, when data are being transmitted into a network, it is not direct. You have a lot of intermediate devices along the way, and your network must be, uh, your data must be routed from point to point, nodes to nodes, until you reach the other side. And this is sometimes referred to as hops. Basically, each hop is when you are moving along one device. So you can go through multiple devices or multiple hops until you reach your destination. The problem may occur when the network malfunction. You can still transmit the data, but somehow a loop has occurred inside your network for instance in this particular diagram which means that your data does not actually reach to the destination All right or maybe your request or your transmission couldn't reach now it may seem like a small thing or right, a small issue but actually it is eating up a lot of bandwidth particularly if this keep on occurring time and time again so what is our solution? One of the solutions is to create a so-called maximum hop. For instance, let's say uh, a number maximum hop of 30. So what will occur is when the data is transmitted, so you have hop number one, hop number two, hop number three, but instead of going to the right location, it goes into a loop, hop number four, hop number five and so forth but when you hit the maximum hop number in this case let's say 30 it's not going to get forwarded anymore so this data or this packet actually get dropped and when it is dropped it is not looping anymore inside your network and that save up on your bandwidth Okay, so this maximum hop is a potential solution okay, to this problem. If you look at the time to leave, it works in a very similar fashion. But a time to leave actually is a number that gets subtracted by 1 every time there is a hop. So if I make a hop, subtract 1. Another hop, subtract 1 another hop subtract one and so forth okay the idea here is that there is a value set for the packet to leave basically means once this value reach zero maybe it will be dropped and if we go into our previous example it work in a very similar fashion so let's say the time to leave is set at 25. So 25, a single hop, subtract 1, 24, another hop, 23, another hop, 22, and it makes a mistake, all right, if something went wrong, it hop this direction upwards, okay, then it subtract 1 again, and eventually it will reach 0. And when it reached zero, the time to leave expired. That particular package is dropped. And again, because it is dropped, it saves you a lot of bandwidth or all resources. Actually, bandwidth is a very valuable resources on your network. 